What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Today I have a couple cutting boards that I need to put juice grooves in and I haven't actually made a jig for these yet. So I think I will make one and take you along for the ride. Stay tuned. I started out with a base that was just a piece of scrap I had laying around and it was big enough to put the board on and have some area around it to screw the rails to. The bit I use for juice grooves is an 8th inch bowl and tray bit from Bits and Bits Company. I will leave a link to it and a discount code for you guys in the description below. I visually figured out where I wanted the juice groove to go on the board and then I measured the distance from the edge of the board to the edge of the router base and it ended up being right at an inch. So I went over to the table saw and cut up some 1 inch strips. I guess I should mention that this is all out of 3 quarter inch plywood. Once those were cut, I adjusted my fence to three inches and cut enough for all four sides. These pieces will be what the router uses as basically a fence. Once I had all my strips cut to width, I went over to the miter saw and cut them to length. I cut two strips at 18 inches and two strips at 22 inches. You guys can adjust these measurements for whatever size board you usually make. I usually stick to 12 by 16, 12 by 18, something like that, just because it'll fit through my planer. And that's just the typical size board I make. But like I said, you can adjust it to fit whatever size board you make, typically. I also cut the one inch pieces to the same lengths. After I had all the pieces cut, I glued the one inch strips to the bottom of the three inch strips to form an L shape. Now you could probably just clamp it and let it sit and let the glue dry, but I wanted to use this thing pretty quickly. So I used quick setting glue and also drove some screws in through the side pre-drilling and using inch and a quarter screws from PowerPro, which are amazing, highly recommend. I obviously did this process to all four rails, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch all that. You get the idea. All right, now when setting up the jig, you start with one side, but the end up with the end of the cutting board and then go in a circular pattern, butting the next piece up to the other rail and continuing around until you get back around to the beginning. This is what makes it adjustable because as you can see, the end pieces stick out further and you can make it smaller or larger as needed. Once it's in place, you can drill and screw it into the baseboard. I have it sitting on an old jig just because I didn't know how far the screws were gonna sink in. I didn't wanna drill into my table, but it ended up being fine, so you guys should be good. Oh, also, inch and quarter screws. All right, time to cut the juice groove. You always wanna just take a little bit off at a time, so you'll do several passes lowering the bit each time until you reach your desired depth for your juice groove. Also, you want to start in the corner, it's just easier to hold it against both fences and plunge into the board. You also want to make sure that your router is going the same direction that your bit spins. So mine spins clockwise. You wanna run the router around clockwise, holding it against the fence as you go. This will actually make the router wanna pull into the fence instead of away from the fence and you'll end up in the middle of the board with some crazy looking juice groove. And this is your result, a nice uniform juice groove that will add value and character to your boards. I highly recommend doing it if you're trying to sell these things or just trying to make a nice one for yourself. That's about as simple as you can get for a juice groove jig. It's adjustable, works great for any medium sized cutting board. You can make it bigger to scale, but uh, this one works for me. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, let me know in the comments down below, or if you have any other questions, be sure to ask those. And until next time, check out this video. We'll see you on the next one.